So I have a soccer athlete here who was uh, uncovering the soccer game. She was running, rolled her ankle, doing a side step. Um, she managed to get herself off the field between limping and hopping. She said she can't bear any weight. Um, she felt a popping in pain right away after she rolled it. Um, she has about six out of 10 pain and she told me that um, she hasn't had any history of ankle sprains in either ankle. Um, so I'm gonna start the evaluation. I can see that there is some slight swelling um, and I would start palpating the head of the fibula to assess if there's a fracture there um, and up the shaft of the fibula. I'm gonna have you sit back again and I would test for a fracture doing the compression test. And there's no pain, so I would then have her do some range of motion. So I want you to put your toes to the ceiling, now to the floor, and now roll your ankle out, or in, <laughs> now roll it out. Um, there's pain with plantar flexion and inversion. So now I would do passive range of motion, so just let me move you. So again, pain, pain with inversion and plantar flexion, and then now resist, now push up and push my hand. Right now push down. Right, turn in. No, in. <laughs> turn out. So same thing, pain with plantar flexion and inversion. Now I would palpate the anterior talofibular ligament and then the calcaneofibular ligament and the posterior talofibular ligament. Um, she has pain over the anterior talofibular ligament. That's where the swelling is as well. And there's no pain on the base of the fifth metatarsal. Um, and then uh, now I would do the anterior drawer test and the talar tilt test. And I would compare bilaterally and feel that there is laxity with both. And my assessment would be that it is a grade two lateral ankle sprain, so the anterior talofibular ligament. Um, the plan, the treatment plan for that is to immobilize the ankle, put the athlete on crutches um, for five to 10 days or until they can walk without limping. And then you would start range of motion uh, rehab pretty early on and then continue with rehab and the athlete would be out of play.